as you can see, it is quite a sunny day today. We thought it was going to be kind of the first day of winter. Um, that's not what's happened, but anyhow, we're still making a winter warmer soup. We kind of feel like everyone loves soup, or you even though soup. everyone's fine with soup. Yeah, it's a fundamentally all right thing. Right. So we're going to go cook people a fundamentally all right lunch. <laughs> See you there. Thanks. I wonder if one day through filming this, we'll actually get some sick first person getting hit by a truck view. Just based on that tone, it sounded like you were at least vaguely hopeful for that. Hiya. Hi, how are you doing? I'm we make a cooking show where we go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we'd love to make you lunch. No, I'm alright. Thank no? you. No, alright. Okay. Well, have a lovely day. Have a great day. Thanks. 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 You too. Did I tell you about uh, Nick and I's duck breast company? No. It's called uh, Yes Please But Not Before Duck Breast. We sell duck breasts. Because the campaign was like, uh, you know, you see like Federer and someone's like, hey Feds. You want to go feds. feds. Feds is just his friend, I'm assuming. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah no, no. Nadal or Nads yeah. uh, to Feds. He's like, hey, feds. hey, Feds. Yeah, he's yeah, like, hey, yeah. Feds. Do you want to go? Uh, do you want to go play some Wimbledon? And play some Wimbledon. yeah, and then Feds goes, uh, no, yes, yes, please. yes, please, but not before not a before duck. a duck breast. <laughs> Because the idea of it is, uh, our duck breasts are so good that you <laughs> like you can't actually anything. do anything <laughs> without yeah, having one you. first. You're a Hi there. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, we, oh, not too bad. Uh, we make a cooking show where we go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we'd love to cook you lunch today. Uh, no, we can't convince you. Uh, All right. Okay. Well, well have a nice day. Thank you. Was that a genuine mistake? Huh? Not for a chicken breast. Oh no! Oh God. Jesus! Are you even paid by the fucking chicken lobby? Who bought you that haircut? Was it big chicken? <laughs> was it big chicken? Because <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about that is that it is also just like a really big chicken. <laughs> you know, like you can, it's just one you can, big yeah, you can go either way with it. Hi, I'm Hi there. The Alright. Yes, Cheers. Sorry, I'm on hold. Sorry to bother you. Um, we're making a cooking show. We go door to door and offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we'd love to cook you lunch. Really? We're That's making a, a soup random. today. Yeah, no, yeah. it is quite. Totally. Okay, we'll, we'll wait here. Why don't you? Um, we don't want to hold you off, off off your call for too long. No. It's f <laughs> it's fine. Um, I've I've just run off. I'll just tell them I got cut off. So sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I'm in, in, I I feel very amused and inclined to say yes. <laughs> well, how many people have Thank you tried? Uh, uh, well, today we've knocked on probably like 50, 60 doors. Yeah, uh, something like that. Oh, no, do I have it? Well, sorry, I feel like what's your name, sorry? I'm Serena. I'm Hal. Nice to meet you. Ed. Um, yeah. Lovely to oh, meet you. My fame, such as it is, mm. would be. It's possible you saw it, it's possible you didn't see it. There was a good story in about May where um, a whole load of neighbours were putting notes on a tree about people stealing plants. Yes, that yeah, way. that was you. I didn't write them, I was the person who put the plants in. Wow. What happened is that a number of years ago, a charity came and built a number of planters and they donated a whole load of plants. They were just kind of wilting, wilting and I felt sorry for them. So I adopted them and started watering them. And then I started putting leftovers from my gods. I eventually got to the point where I was ordering stuff to go in, yeah. watering them. And, and there's a little old lady locally who comes along, and people have watched her out of windows. I've never seen her, but she comes along, she looks left and right. She opens a bag, she lifts the entire plant out and puts it Oof, in her bag. That's a bit. Um, that and the foxes are just trash things. Yeah. Um, and then you get, you know, little kids coming up going, Mommy, look what I've done. And you're like, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> there was a big and kind of complicated and fragile plant called a lupin, which has this amazing Ooh. long kind of column of flowers that mm. was growing. And it was covered in buds. And last year, on the day it was flowering, I got home in the evening and about eight flowers. It, it, people walking past just picked one to take with them. And if that That's happens eight so times, irritating. the plant gets stripped. Yeah. And I put a note out and I wanted people to know that if they get damaged or taken away, somebody gets hurt. Mm. Um, and I, so I put, do not, please do not take my flowers. And <laughs> I came home for a really grisly day and somebody put some notes up okay. where I put my note. Yeah. Um, and uh, the notes basically were written two different hands, two different people, banging on about people are now laying no. <laughs> blame to the 
the street, flowers, and I was so upset that I go around spending hundreds of pounds, hours, you know, out at midnight logging water around on the hot days when frankly I'd rather be in bed, but because it's nice and I get talking to nice people and it's really interesting and I mm. like it and, and I was just really upset. I had plenty to say and I was out in the middle of the night and I dug them all up and um, put them in a hopper in the back of my garden and mm. I was like, right, I'll take them elsewhere and Plant I start over. that note on. So notes were getting added and they're about six or seven in the end and um, it turns out there's a Guardian journal and a freelance journal on my street who were both tagging it in, <laughs> on Twitter and then... Um, then it kind of went a bit mental because she then got picked up by some women's rights writer in the US and then James Corden saw it. Oh no. And then it kind of got a bit mental. And then the newspapers started picking it up and first it was the London newspapers and then the mail came snipping around because it then hit Apple News so it was then, because it's a silly story. Yeah, it's, it's an easy one to spread. Yeah, and it just went a bit mental. So we got some carrots, split lentils, crushed chilli, a <laughs> bunch of coriander, <laughs> garlic, cumin seeds, and veg stock. We... Bit of a story behind that, isn't there, Ed? Yeah, we did have uh, fresh veg stock, but we... I forgot it this morning. <laughs> we I. Sorry. And some bread. bread. Yeah, right, okay. bread. Awesome. So, nice. the first step is, I believe, to check the recipe for the first step. There we go. This. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to heat a large saucepan and dry fry two tablespoons of cumin seeds and a pinch of chilli flakes for a minute or until they start to chill. Alright, so here we're grating the carrots. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, just there. Um, the oil, the, milk. Yep. the lentils, the stock and the milk. Yeah, so Great. basically everything except the coriander. And the carrots. Well no, including carrots, yeah, All actually right. no, everything. Okay, great. All right. Go on. You're all right. I just got it all over the cooker. Lentils in as well. 140 grams of these bad boys. We just we are going to guess it. I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spiced carrot lentil soup. <laughs> Is it just like all the milk then? Do you reckon? Yeah. Sorry. We're going to have to use your milk. That's not going in tea. <laughs> no. That's going in soup somehow. <laughs> One more for luck. Okay, nice. So we're going to toast these. Yeah. And we'll come back to you in a moment. I guess my other claim to them is I did come down with me about 15 years ago. I was on the did same you? series. What? Yeah. There ended up being a huge argument, and we had one particular individual who was anti Jews, he was anti gays, he was going on about somebody who was divorced, and she was divorced because she didn't have a decent father in her life, and he just managed to offend. You know, the mixed race lady, the Jewish lady, the gay guy, and he was just awful, and there was this wow. huge row. And at that point, they realised <laughs> it was much more fun putting people together who hated each other. Yeah. And, and so, 15 years later, that magical formula is still working. It's yeah, working. Exactly. Wow. Okay, so the first step on the garlic bread, once you've toasted okay. your toast, get yeah. the garlic and just literally just... You're gonna you rub just, it on. Do you put butter on this, or is it no. just garlic? It's garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Wow! Look at look at that now. I know it's going, isn't it's it? Going. It's going. It's on its way. Ah. Oh. It's coming out the. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You're not tipping it enough. Well, I don't want to tip it too much. Well, the, there's a slight yeah. petrol. The, the pump doesn't always. Oh, work, oh. I've you, not seen that before. To... Yeah, no, that's. I actually think one of my favourite things about this fun. show is seeing all the cool kitchen utensils that yeah, people have. <laughs> Whoa. Gives a smile. Hey. I love this song. <laughs> One, that's two, and that's three bowls of soup. Perfect. All right. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. Hmm, thank, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got really freaked out when um, I was just taking some pictures of some of my friends and then later that night I got back and I had a notification from Facebook. It had gone into my photos folder because I hadn't, this was not, nothing to do with Facebook. You and it said, them, right? no, no, no. It said, you just took pictures of like these guys, do you want to upload and tag them? And I was like, what? 
I had I did I show you the video, um, the dog toys video of is Google listening? No, I don't oh, think it's so. So horrifying. So this oh guy's yeah. Just on his browser and he's looking at all the ads that pop up. None of them are for dog toys. And then he's like, okay, so I'm going to close everything on my computer. And then he um, says, I don't own a dog. I've never talked about it before. There's, I've never Googled for it before. There's no reason that it mm. can come up. So I'm going to talk about them for a minute or so, like without the browser up. And he sort of does this, you know, really ham fisted, like, so I'd love to buy some dog toys for my dog who I love. I want him to have the best toys. I want dog toys, dog toys, dog toys, etc. Yeah. And then he goes on and like seven adverts for dog toys just <laughs> pop up. And it's just so creepy. Mm. Like, and so instantaneous as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfectly serious about me washing up. It's no, 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 no. I know you are. I, it's registered. It's noted. It's appreciated. It's very kind. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. You too. And thanks for giving us your side on the um, like the the flower issue. There's the tree immediately outside. I think still just has one of the pieces of paper on. Well, let's go check it out. Nice mirrors, by the way. Yeah. All from eBay. Oh. Honestly, I, oh, I get well, everything from me, but you need to do the bottom lock first. Uh, whoa, well, uh, this tree then, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Let's check it out. Here we go. Here we go. The council do not pay anything towards planting or watering, nor do they provide any maintenance. These flowers did, My. These flowers did not grow wild. Nice. All right, and we're out. Big success, well done, Big hugs all round. <laughs>